All right, we're all lined up. We're gonna crank this right down onto the hitch. We'll make sure that that stays where it is and it'll just slide right down. And if that's right, we should be able to push this all the way down and lock it. And then put the lock, that lock security too, but it also makes sure that the latch doesn't accidentally open up and come off the ball, which would be very bad. Plug in power. It is a seven way for this. Get that plugged in. Now latch that. The safety chain. I'm gonna latch the other safety chain. And then you see this extra little ball here, the one on the plate, that's for the anti-sway control. This guy, uh, there's two pins, those come out. Like some of these other videos, that's a lot easier with two hands, but we're gonna do it with one today. So the gray side goes over that ball, the black side goes over the other one. Um, this is going to have to get loosened a little bit, so you turn it toward the off direction. That's one full turn. I'm going to turn it two full turns and see if that's enough. Not quite. I'll try three full turns. There we go. I should be able to slide it. There we go. can slide it. And line it up enough so that it can get onto the hitch. It's very important when you put, when you're working with the anti-sway, uh, we lock this in place here. Uh, no, never to back up with the sway bar on, or at least not any significant turns. I'll sometimes do a short one, but the sway control goes on. Now we loosened it three full turns. We're gonna tighten it three. One, two, Eh, two and a half. I think it's about right. And we'll go with that. So two and a half turns, and that puts the sway in place. There's a, there's a clip there, a clip there. That's locked. These are latched. This is plugged in. That's all the hitching. This gets cranked all the way up. And we'll show the video when this is all ready to go but it leans, it rolls, so the handle always goes toward the hitch.